is up guys it is saints fan and welcome to another gta 5 video today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new patch notes for update 1.29 for the ps4 xbox one and pc now if you guys haven't checked out my earlier video i did talk about the new free mode events they covered them in depth on their newswire and i made a video about it in addition to that they also talked about how they're doing some exclusive stuff you can get free fifty thousand dollars gta money uh, you know by doing something really simple so you can go check that out video will be in the description now with this video there is a ton of patch notes i'm not going to be going over all of them as usual i'll pick the you know the best ones i will leave the link to the patch note list in the description if you do want to go read everyone but guys they actually fix things that we've been wanting forever the biggest thing of them all and, and i'm just so excited because i don't freaking like them the blue blips on the map they're gone you can turn them off finally it's only taken two years rockstar <laughs> but finally they are here uh but yeah that was that was one of the new features or one of the fixes uh, i'll start with the new features first and then we'll get into the actual like bug fixes so the rockstar editor obviously for you guys on console and including pc it has uh, several new features including ambient sound effect tracks have been added to the project menu players can now copy and paste their marker properties player can players can freeze the time of day in director mode interaction menu they can also take snapomatic photos in the editor which is kind of cool 10 new fonts have been added to the editor for radio tracks are now available to use in the editor one shot sound effects are available in clip edit view players can spawn vehicles from their hangar or marina while in director mode the mini map will now focus on the location selected and there are new trophies and achievements which i will actually throw up a picture on the screen that have been added for the ps4 the xbox one and steam like i said the one that i'm freaking the most excited for even though it's like it's so stupid because we've been dealing with it for so long at this point but you can now hide or show blips that are on the map so no more accidentally walking into the damn blue thing and then you know it taking you two more minutes than it had to to get out and back into free mode another interesting thing there are additional helicopter and plane spawn locations that have been added for pegasus vehicles not sure where they are but that's actually kind of cool i'm interested to see though like where the other plane locations could be and another huge update that i talked about a little bit in the earlier video the creator has been updated to include the following props can now be stacked on top of each other props can now be placed overlapping one another props can now be rotated and prop templates can be saved so the user can reuse the prop throughout job creation so i know i don't really use the creator too often but the people who do are really excited for this really pumped up and it's gonna make the jobs that people create even cooler and even better so i'm excited to see how everything turns out but getting into the actual fixes now like i said there are a ton of fixes honestly the two biggest fixes at least for me the first one being that they fixed an issue that incorrectly triggered a wanted level in the wilderness when committing a crime with no witnesses i don't know how long that's been a problem in gta finally it's been fixed and the second one they also fixed an issue where a crash they say could occur but it happened literally every single time when you attempted to view crew members via the pause menu in gta online so now you guys when i stream and you know do uh car shows and stuff you guys can actually join me the correct way without having it crash those were the two big things so get into some of the other ones as usual they said they have general fixes to improve game and network stability for story and gta online they fixed a few issues relating to like missing tattoos missing hats missing shirts and stuff like that when you join sessions for other people i know now you can actually buy a roof for your stallion in los santos customs and that wasn't there before apparently there were a few issues with daily objectives not working and they fixed those problems not that i've really used these bikes but apparently the curs system on the two bikes that have it sometimes it, it was like buggy i guess so they fixed that so it should work properly now this next issue i guess some people were just getting a little bit too excited because they had to fix an issue where players were losing their head when getting a private lap dance you know, I yeah, I don't even know what to say about that one, but they fixed it. So now you don't lose your head anymore. <laughs> and another huge fix they made, and this one, you know, it made the game unplayable, at least for me. They fixed an issue where Jimmy's controller and headset continue performing the animation after he dies while playing a video game. You know, I that was what, driving me crazy in single player. So thank you, Rockstar, for fixing that. And then for PC only, guys, they said they fixed the issue that caused frame rate to stutter during gameplay. Now, they said that in the past two patch notes so hopefully this time and according to a few people on the gta reddit they have actually said that it, this is confirmed that it is not stuttering anymore so that's really good news for pc guys 
but that is it with the main fixes and features if anything else that's not included you know happens like such as the patch to the way we do our clothing glitches or maybe if modded colors could be back potentially i will tell you guys make a video on that if any other glitches are found i will definitely let you guys know if they're useful but hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did later on today i'm gonna be doing a live stream where you guys can join me and we can have some fun with these new free mode events but Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. As always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.